Hey Siri, how not to miss any future Tech Labs video? Just go ahead and click on the bell button to be notified. Enjoy. What's up guys, Stick of Shiro and today in this video I wanted to talk specifically about the Cydia Extender, the new application that has been dropped by Sorik, the creator of Cydia and the creator of Cydia Factor. and I wanted to kind of clear up the whole situation around the Cydia Extender. So there's just a whole bunch of hype now around the Cydia Extender application and people don't really know what this application is all about, what are the functions of it, what's the purpose of it. So I just wanted to clear up everything in one video. It's not gonna be a long video, but a rather a little short video, but I'm gonna cover up some basic things what you need to know about the city expander so anyways guys let's go ahead and get started and let me tell you about this little app and okay guys so first of all a little prologue here so uh, the sorry the developer of city and the developer of city impactor he was actually promising us a solution to the problem of signing the yellow 102 app meaning the jailbreak so we can stay on our phone forever I mean like forever like for two years or more so it doesn't actually limit it by the time so the extender had to be one of those solutions that he actually provided here and it's it's not actually working as it's supposed to be. And while he was developing the extender, he was focusing on one function, one particular function is bringing the city impactor functionality to the iPhone, to the iPad and to the uh, iPod Touch. So it doesn't matter which device you have, which firmware you have or which account you have. But after he actually released the software, he was so freaking excited. But uh, users tried it, users used it, but it turns out it's not possible to use it on a normal non-developer account. So people who actually actually paid $100 to Apple to make them a registered developer, they can actually use this one without any limitation. They can actually have the real Cydia Impactor on the iPhone, which is now called the Cydia Extender. So additionally, if you are a developer, you also have this crucial possibility to integrate those uh, network services inside of the app. So this is the error which I got while I tried to install it manually through Cydia Impactor with non-developer account. And this is the most crucial part about this. So the huge difference is between the uh, normal account and the developer account is that they have extra permissions which Apple uh, doesn't allow having in this free account. Now you may ask me, Alex, I don't even own a developer account. How am I supposed to use this one if it gives me some kind of error on my device? And like, it's pretty useless to me, right? So I got you covered guys. Now people on the internet, they are so smart. You guys are so smart. So actually some people defined some ways on how you can use the extender with no developer account and have the yellow resign every seventh day but without a computer. So let me explain this little situation. So if you go to youtube.com and try to google how you can install extender on your iPhone with no developer account, you will see a couple of tutorials already available out there. And if you guys want me to make another tutorial, please hit the like button of course, so I will know. But anyways, if you take a look at them, they're pretty legit and the way it's supposed to work is that you are actually not installing through a computer, but you're installing the extender through the Cydia, so you need to have your iPhone jailbroken. And after you install the extender, it will not be visible on your iPhone home screen, you will need to actually do something inside of the terminal, inside of the file manager and something like this, so it will actually form this application for you, sign it and prepare it, so it will be actually accessible by you. But alongside this installation, it will also install the App Sync. You know, the App Sync is used for signing any possible EPA on your iPhone, so it will be non-revocable uh, until you have a jailbreak. And what that means is basically if you have a jailbreak state, if you are in a jailbroken state, this application functions and every single jailbreak application functions. But after you get rid of this jailbroken state on your iPhone, after the iPhone shuts down, after this application gets revoked, you are not able to access extender anymore. So you will need to enter the jailbreak state once again to use it. So additionally, as I personally understood, you're only able to sign one application once per week. So that means you can only use uh, with the extender application when the yellow 102 is expired but you have your iPhone in the jailbroken mode and you can go ahead and resign it to use it once again. So if you're out of luck and your device is shut down and you cannot access the jailbroken state anymore, you need to use a computer and the extender is pretty useless. So again, you're only able to use extender when you have the yellow 102 app already expired and it's not longer available on your iPhone, but you are still in the jailbroken mode so it's really you know it's really not that often sometimes people are not in the jailbroken state so it's really really hard to get this jailbreak once again so it's not a great solution but wait 
things are not that bad guys so I actually have my own solution which I actually presented to you a couple of weeks ago as I remember so it's when the yellow 100 into app is not longer available you're not in jailbreaking state mode so you can go ahead and go to your settings and go to a general then go to date and time and scroll all the way to the date when you signed this little application on your iPhone meaning the yellow 100 into app so for instance that will be the March 8 and once you go back it will be signed again so you'll be able to resign your iPhone I mean the original broker iPhone and resign this application for yourself maybe that's how it's gonna be convenient but yeah guys I think it should be pretty much it for today I really really hope that you enjoyed that video I just wanted to you know kind of update you guys on what is happening in jailbreak world right now and about specifically talking about this, this extender application and what it's all about so I hope you will know anyways guys if you enjoyed that video make sure to leave a huge petty fat like on this video it would be so so much appreciated if you want me to make a separate video on how you can install this extender application uh, without any developer account please be sure to let me know again by hitting the like button if you have any comments leave them down below I'll be quick to answer them and as always guys stay tuned for more videos and peace out